Hello and welcome to Blockchain Gaming World, the YouTube channel all about blockchain games. If you're interested in blockchain games, please do subscribe. Now this is a very quick video about what's going on with the Sandbox and its liquidity mining. So the Sandbox is a highly anticipated blockchain game, a bit like uh, Minecraft or Roblox on the blockchain. You have your land, you can create um, 3D animated items that you can put in your land, make little games, you can sell them on a the marketplace all that kind of stuff uh, but on a blockchain. Um, so the sandbox is slowly getting to kind of launch or kind of beta kind of stage. Uh, you can own land. They launched their token in an ERC-20, so an Ethereum standard token called SAND. Um, that's been live for, um, let's have a think, uh, about uh, getting on for a month now. Uh, you can't do much with it at the moment. Um, so one thing that they've kind of done, um, which plays into some of the big themes of uh, the blockchain in 2020, at least in DeFi, decentralized finance, is what we call liquidity mining. So you have the SAND token, and what you can do, uh, one of the things you could do, is you could put that into uh, into the DeFi DAP Uniswap. So Uniswap is a effectively a robot exchange, and people uh, can earn some uh, fees from that. If they put in um, two, two different tokens, um, and then as people swap in and out of tokens, they buy some, they sell some tokens to get some other tokens. Um, it's always two, two, two uh, balanced uh, tokens in a liquidity pool. You can earn some uh, fees from that, but also um, you kind of uh, you get this token, uh, which which proves how much of the liquidity pool you own and how much tokens you get, how much fees you get, um, and then lots of DeFi DApps have then been using that uh, that that new token. And then saying, if you lock that into into our DAP, uh, we'll give you something else, typically some more tokens or, or another token. So we've seen a lot around kind of uh, this, what we call yield farming or liquidity mining. And the sandbox has got in on the action. So this is um, their SAND, so the SAND token and the ETH Uniswap V2 liquidity uh, pool. So if you put SAND and ETH into Uniswap, you go to the, you go to Uniswap and you find these two, and you and you choose the add liquidity option. You have to put equal amount of sand and Ethereum into the liquidity pool, and that means um, as people trade in and out of that, you'll get a very small uh, percentage of fees. Um, and to encourage people to do that, to make sure there's lots of um, uh, liquidity in in this uh, pool. So liquidity just means lots of people can trade in and out, and the price doesn't change very much. And that's the most important thing when you when you're trading tokens is you want very deep liquidity because you don't want to uh, be changing the price if someone comes in um, with a large amount to, to a large amount of sand or ETH they want to exchange and there's not a lot of liquidity in the pool just by doing that trade they'll change the price um, and that's that's not what you want so to encourage people to stick their sand uh, and also the some ETH into the liquidity pool sandbox is giving you effectively free sand so you can see here um, this is just the uh, the the uh, sandbox um, uh, web page. Uh, let's have a look. What is it? Sam, um, staking .sandbox .game. So That's the website you have to go to if you have one of these uh, tokens. So it's a bit a little bit complicated, but you need the Sand ETH Uniswap version two uh, liquidity uh, pool token. And I have two twenty two point uh, twenty three. Should we say? I have twenty three of these tokens. Um, it's not a vast amount. I think it was. Couple of hundred dollars, something like that. I can't really even remember. Um, not not vast amount though. Um, and I've staked it into this. Um, into this uh, uh, will be a, will be a smart contract. This is just the web interface for the smart contract. So I've just hit stake and I've paid for a, a um, transaction and I've staked that into into the into the smart contract. And now you can see um, I did it. Let's have a think. I did it about a week ago. So in a week. I've earned 24, 20, uh, getting on for 25 sand tokens. So that's not very much. That's about a dollar. <laughs> so I am not, I'm not a uh, one of one of the uh, big big spenders when it comes to sand. I, and, I, and I'm not doing this to kind of earn this. I'm doing this because it's interesting to kind of mess around with this sort of stuff. Um, but it is effectively free. It's free, um, free sand tokens. Um, if I just had this this Uniswap token in my wallet, it wouldn't be doing anything. I'd still be earning fees if people were trading in and out of Uniswap. But this is kind of extra on top, and I think uh, there is the for the kind of current version of this, there is seventy five uh, seventy thousand dollars worth of sand tokens to be um, kind of mined 
um, they may they may roll up something else uh, when that kind of comes out. But uh, across everyone who's doing this, there's seventy thousand dollars worth of, of sand, uh, which if you do the maths is going to be quite a lot. Um, so it's going to be over a million sand. Um, so so that that is something. Um, uh, that you can do. I don't necessarily recommend it because the gas fees are expensive. So for the amount of money I'm putting in there, I'm probably actually losing money because the gas fees to um, to stake all this stuff in are, are, are quite a lot at the moment. But I think it's something that is interesting because we will see more and more games doing this. There's another game, uh, the F1 Delta Time game, has a similar staking process, although that's within the game loop. Um, you can stake their rev tokens and you can earn um, more rev tokens from doing that. The reason that you would, might do that is is that obviously it stops people, um, it's, it encourages people to buy more rev tokens, uh, and encourages them not to sell them because they effectively they're getting an interest rate um, on 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 the tokens they're taking out of circulation. Um, so I think we'll see this as become a very standard option in in games, and equally th this more complex version um, when you're giving people the option of staking Uniswap tokens that that's really good for the ecosystem because. That means the, the the Uniswap liquidity pool is deeper, um, and people can trade in and out without the price changing very much. So you can kind of see ways in which game blockchain game developers are using blockchain uh, kind of uh, features to make their ecosystem better, and 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 just to make a, a generally good experience and also, and to reward people um, small amounts of value for doing that. So uh, that's all we're looking at today. Thanks for uh, watching the video. And say so if you haven't subscribed, um, please please do so. We uh, we are kind of really delving in. To this uh, market and there's a lot going on uh, at the end of 2020 so um, i hope you'll find this stuff interesting but thanks for watching and hope to see you again soon